yo 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 what's up everybody thank you for joining me thank you for subscribing if you, if you haven't kindly hit it on it right now like subscribe right now hey it doesn't cost anything to subscribe hit the subscribe button now i did a video talking about um using your phone to record videos for your youtube or whatever video that you you might you don't necessarily need and i said you don't necessarily need a digital camera to be able to have a good quality video okay so someone told me that next time i should do a bit more in depth a little bit so this is me trying to be a bit in depth for you to get to understand some of these things if you haven't watched that video i'll leave the link somewhere here if you want to use a phone to record videos like clean quality videos and you have an iphone or you have any other phone first tip the back cameras usually have a higher resolution than the front cameras. The back cameras usually have a higher resolution than the front cameras. So it's advisable that when you're recording a video, use the side of the camera. Don't use here because the quality here is good. Usually it's good, but here is better. Second tip, clean it. Okay. Some people tend, tend to forget that they have to clean, wipe the camera side clean it make sure make sure it's clean so that you can get a very good quality video thirdly pay attention to your light I, can, I don't know how much i can stress the fact that light plays a very key role in video or photography if your lighting is bad have the best have the best camera equipment have the best phone you have if your lighting is is, is shit you you are going to get a shitty video that i don't know how if your lighting is bomb you're going to get a bomb video so pay attention to your lighting now someone will ask me what kind of light should i use should i use uh, an led should i use a big light what kind of lights do i do i need to use if you can afford to get a bigger light why not but if you can't even a ring light a ring light will do but again, as I said, how you position it is important. And there are three kind of lighting. Okay, there are three, three kinds of lighting. We have the fail light, we have the key light, and we have the backlight. Usually, in, 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 if you're if you doing a lighting setup, there's one which is your key light. The key light is like your main source of light for your subject, for you. You are the subject. So the main light on you is going to be the key light okay we have a fail light i'm not using a fill light under setting i'm just using a key light so a fill light usually will wash will wash uh, the shadows sometimes if there's a key light here and it's casting a little bit shadow at some part of your face the fill light fills that in that's why it's a fill light it fills it it fills that part of your face that it's not properly lit or has been cast a shadow on so that's what the the fill light is for that's so that's two light now then the third light is your backlight usually it's good for you to light your background separately from you so that you don't appear to be to be mixed with the background so it's, it's usually good for you to have a different light lighting for your background okay that's why I have this lamp here I have this lamp here and I have my TV at my back to serve as a back you know that kind of feel and I have another light there just to separate me from the background okay so if it, that that is if you can afford if you can have some light or some small you know it doesn't have to be so sophisticated it, it just can be a lamp something you know to bring life to the background that would be cool and then have your key light. Another source of light that you can consider is the window. You can you can you can shoot you can shoot your video by standing in front of a window. So the window is going to give you the light coming from outside. So the window is going to is going to give you light coming from outside, and that is going to be your your main source of light. That light light is also good. That lighting is also good. Avoid shooting against the light. If you're going to shoot against the light, make sure that the light that is on you is at least brighter than the light behind you. If the light behind you is too bright, it's going to be distracting. It has to be a little bit, you know, down 
let the light that is on you be brighter than that that will make your video looks nice i'm going to turn off the light behind me so that you see how it looks like without the light behind me so this is how it looks like without any light behind me see there's nothing there's no light behind me it doesn't look too interesting so this is without light now let me turn this light on let's see the difference it brings now let's see Ta-da! so you see it has brought some kind of it's you know it's adding up to the feel it's adding up to the feel that i want to create now let's add something more another light yeah you see there's a different light in. it has also given it another feel you know it's bringing the background to life it's you know it's still adding some kind of feel some drama you know to the background let, let me turn off the television now let's try that now you see now i've brought a whole dynamic into the whole thing i turn on the, my laptop on to also add up to the lighting behind so it just it, these are some of the ideas you can play around with and also if if you have a background like mine or if you have any kind of background make sure you are not close to it be a little bit away from the background that way a camera focuses on you okay you are in focus and your background is a little bit blurred okay when you have a blurred background it makes it look nice than everything being in focus so if you are in focus and the background is blurred that looks nice isn't it so try not to be close to the background be be a little bit away from the background because sometimes when you're even close to the background sometimes you can cast shadows on your background you don't want that and also if you're too close to the background the light that you have on you will be hitting the background and you don't want that you want to light your, yourself separately and you want to light your background also separately okay so take that so i'm going to do another video i'm going to do another video and talk about how you can use a digital camera for a very good video that is my phone that is that is the phone i am shooting on right now and this is how it looks like and this is my light it's just a small light with with that is a soft box on the light and it's directly on top of me it's just one light so i have a mirror position in front of me that way i am i am able to see what 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 is in frame in the in the in the screen of my phone this phone i'm able to see see it from the from the mirror you see that yep so i'm able to see it that way and i'm also able to see myself as i talk so that i know i know how i look i know how i'm positioned in frame so that i don't get out of frame and all that so you can do that you can have a mirror in front of you then you can talk normal talk to yourself and then you're able to see it in my next video i'm going to talk about how to work on your sound and how you, sh you can edit your video with simple video editing softwares all right so if this video was helpful to you kindly give me a thumbs up by liking this video share your comment with me what you think about this video also if you haven't subscribed to this video yet what are you waiting for subscribe now subscribe now like now now so thank you for joining me. You can check other video on the channel. Until then, see ya.